Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be on Rooftop Showdown. It's going to be between Jay Raccoon and Ferreter. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, that last game apparently there were actually some playback errors. It was still a really interesting game, so I'll put it on YouTube, but there were some playback errors. Apparently Nail ultimately got Temporal Salt and Shield Twin Mars, used them to push through everything that Ferreter had, and won the day. So, Ferret ended up apparently losing that game. It kinda sucks. But anyway, now we're on Rooftop Showdown. Probably a shorter game, since Rooftop Showdown tends to produce shorter games. Between J Raccoon and Ferreter. Once again, so Ferreter is Grekum in the right, east side of the map. J Raccoon is going for Vekir this time. West side of the map. And will be... Let's see, he's building up a... Nice little expansion. Getting very quick, Depot. Okay, he, he's going for a Depot Rush. Proper Depot Rush, too. So we'll see this builds up right now. And where is Ferreter is... Ferreter's going for more of an economic build. Getting an Octo over, setting it up to deal some damage, but not too much, really. He can't deal actually that much damage without seriously jeopardizing his own chances. I mean, right now, J Raccoon is basically setting him up so that he has to build an Octopod if he wants to live. Like, J Raccoon is going to win unless Ferreter builds an Octopod right about now. He's sending in his forces in just to deal with some damage. And other than that, Ferreter is... Getting an Octo, he will meet up with the Shinbeer, the Tethbeer moving towards the south, and very nice idea to splitting up forces across the center of the map, because the way the map is set up, it's very wise to sp split your forces along the center hexagon, since there's two very distinct paths along the side here, and it's easy to miss something going along one of the paths, if you only go along one of the paths. And no, J Raccoon is going to be fighting against a fully economic opponent. Ferreter will have probably some chance to change up his build once he sees what J Raccoon is going for, since Ferreter did manage to get rid of Jericho's scouting forces. But a Zion Pulse are coming in very quickly and going along the south side of the map. So the Octo will be able to see it, but by the time it does, the Zion Pulse will have gone around the south. However, what Jericho wants to do is wait until the Unplayable Past comes along. So this Octo is still going to be able to deal enough damage. The Zion Pulse will be given away, and Jericho will go back. Well, we'll have to fight against a force that's actually prepared. Ferreter will be able to go back and fix up everything he had set up here. So we will be able to build him an Octopod quickly, and from there defend against the Zion Pulsers. Because really, you can only build about one Zion, maybe two Zion Pulsers. And here's that Zion Beer that's actually turned into a Zion Pulser. Oh no, it looks like Fer Jericho is actually going for direct construction of a Zion Pulser. Rather than Zion Beer into Zion Pulser, but we will see. This is a very tricky rust strategy. It's It was more popular before, but it's actually become a lot less popular recently. Especially since Grekum, with the Octopod stuff, has managed to learn to deal with it. So Ferreter is going to be pretty able to deal with this. I don't see it likely that he's going to have a hard time with it. But it's, it really depends on whether or not he actually responds. If he gets his Octopod up, he'll be good. Otherwise, he will completely fall. And it looks like, no, he's not aware of this. He's not changing his strategy. Even when he can, it's going to be a lot of chrono energy to change it up and fix up so he gets the Octopod. And I'm not sure if this game was played back when the Octopod thing was popular. People actually knew about it. So, it's going to be a bit tricky to see what he does. Whereas, J Raccoon... He definitely has a good strategy going for it. He knows what he's doing. The counter strategy may not have been developed at this point, but definitely the strategy was. And here comes the Zion Pulsar to deal quite a bit of damage. So, as you saw with Ferreter, he was going to be taking a lot of damage and being destroyed in the future, but it looks like that's not likely to happen necessarily. J Raccoon's point of view, we see the Zion Pulsar is dealing a fair amount of damage, getting rid of that Arcticus, but the Arcticus, of course, tanking for everything else. And with the QP RP being built up, an Octopod will be forthcoming. Ferreter actually has the money for it now, and Ferreter jumping back about a minute where Ferreter is. He doesn't have an Octopod yet, but getting an Octo, getting another Reef as well, so he's instead focusing on getting healing up in time while he builds up his try, rebuilds his try so he can get an Octopod when he needs to. But it's going to be very tight. It's very, very close timing. And we see the Octo setting up. Another Seppi will be built up from there, which will then be used to build up the Octopod. There's that Seppi I mentioned. And the Octo might be used for defense, but it's going to be very tricky. And no, it is using for defense, at least as a distraction. The Arcticus is a great tank. I'm not sure why he's sacrificing an Octo for this, at least at this timing. But he will at least be able to take care of the Tethbeer. Shinbeer is still alive, still able to deal some damage, but the Tethbeer is gone, so that's at least something. Though the Tethbeer is more for anti air, thus it's not that much of something. And whereas, man, there's going to be a lot of 
a lot of Zion Veers coming in, dealing a fair amount of damage once they get in here. So Ferreter is still not quite prepared for this. He does have a better setup in order to actually deal with it, has the Reef up and everything. And so Jericho's point of view, he probably hasn't dealt with the Reef yet. So Ferreter at least has bought himself some time, that's the important part. But he needs to buy himself an Octopod. That's going to be the key. If he gets an Octopod, he'll be good, otherwise he's going to have a very hard time dealing with this. And why is he moving the Arctic? Because back now the Reef is tanking and is taking a lot of damage, and this Octo will be able to tank a bit as well and once again take care of the Tethbeer. But it... Oh, actually the Shinbeer too this time around. But still, the main damage dealer is the Zion Pulsar, and this Reef is going to be going down very quickly with that. And like I said, more Zion Veers will be coming in later on. Jericoon hasn't built them yet, but he is building them over the course of the next three minutes, and they will be able to come in and deal some damage as Fall of, Atal Fall of Assault, assuming he's able to actually successfully deal the damage he needs to to these forces. But it looks like the Reef's the one making, taking the main damage, and Seppi and Faro trying to deal what they can, and actually, it looks like they're dealing a pretty good job, come to think of it. And Seppi is taking a lot of damage, taking, being hit directly, so it is going down very quickly. The Faro also taking a fair amount of damage. And the Octopod! There's that Octopod I was looking for! So now Ferreter will be able to defend against this. That Octopod will be able to take care of the Zion Pulsar, no problem. The Reef healing it up. I mean, like I said, Octopods beat Zion Pulsar's one-on-one -on -one regardless. With the Reef healing it, there's... It's not going to be a problem at all. So, J Raccoon, his all-in is starting to flounder a bit. Ferreter managing to defend against this, and looks like Ferreter will be likely building up more economy from here. Probably getting tech to deal with what is going on, and... Once he gets the chance, throwing this Octo in here in the back to take care of the two RPs that Jericoon has set up. Though I'm not sure if Ferreter's planning on doing that, that'd be a really good idea, actually. That would've been a really good idea a few minutes ago. But it'd be a really, really, really good idea now. And the Zion Pulsar has moved back, getting out of the way, healing up. And then it will be able to come back in. Yep, healing up at the depot. We'll be able to come back into the fight, but it's not going to be that useful yet. He will need more of them. This Octopod is going to be sufficient defense for some time. And nothing is actually being built other than that, really. Let's see, Ferreter, we see from his point of view, about a minute up from here, that he's actually going to be doing exactly what I suggested. Sending his Octo back here, taking care of his Iron Beer, and taking care of the RPs. So, that is going to be a lot of damage. Losing one of the RPs, Jericho only has one more RP left. He only has one, and he's surrendered. But say he's got hardly anything left. Very quick game. Like I said, Roofed Up Showdown, it, it provides for quick games. That's what it does. It, it always provides for quick games. You never see a game that takes a particularly long time to play on this map. So I hope you enjoyed that quick match there. And that is going to be it for me tonight. So I hope you enjoyed watching these. And other than that, have a good night, everybody.